Hey, Remote Pilot 101, Jason here back today and talk about a new way folks are making money using UAVs and helping law enforcement and legal professionals in the process. Drones are fast becoming a go-to technology for accident reconstruction used by law enforcement, insurance companies, and lawyers trying to assess scenes following a crash. One of the biggest values in using a drone for accident reconstruction is that it significantly reduces the amount of time needed to collect the sufficient amount of data to map out the scene for investigation. Historically, investigators have used literally pencils, tape measures, manually identifying skid marks and important parts of the scene to reconstruct uh, the circumstances and indicate the accident literally like X's and O's on graph paper, uh, the equivalent of uh, using the chalk outline methodology. You know what I mean? So this type of accident reconstruction uh, can take anywhere from six to eight hours, meaning long road diversions, not to mention delays and loss of intel depending on weather. More recently, laser scanners have been used to help speed up this manual approach. But even with this improvement, accident mapping can still take two to three hours to complete. Now though, according to research conducted at Purdue University, drones with a speedier, more accurate solution. With the drone, investigators can map out or recreate a scene uh, conditions in just five to eight minutes. And the time save isn't just an improvement to the efficiency of the investigation, it can literally help save lives. So drones reconstruct the accident scenes by collecting visual data that can then be processed using mapping software into 3D models or orthomosaic maps of the scene. So how can you get your feet wet in this you know, emerging profession in a way? Some common drones used for accident reconstruction are the Inspire 2s, uh, paired with the Zenmuse X7, and the Phantom 4 Pro could even do it, but there's a ton of options. Something to consider though. Accuracy in reconstruction is key. Since a relatively small error in the data you know, could make it appear as a totally different scenario than what caused the accident. Laying blame on the wrong person, completely misrepresenting the circumstances. So Purdue researchers have partnered with Indiana's Tippecanoe County Sheriff's Office to study these very methods. In 2018 alone, the Sheriff's Office used drones for accident reconstruction in a total of 20 different instances. Now, when first responders arrive at the scene of a car crash, they have four primary concerns. Making certain the people involved in the accident are safe, ensuring the scene itself is safe for emergency personnel, securing and collecting evidence while working to clear the road, and the longer the roads are closed due to an accident, the higher the chances are that another accident or several others may happen. You may have noticed that those third and fourth priorities, they, well, they conflict directly now, don't they? So on one hand, first responders are trying to preserve the scene and collect enough evidence to reconstruct the accident. On the other hand, they want to clear the road quickly to prevent further accidents. So we need a reliable source to grab this data, but we need it now. So anything that can be done to speed up the collection of evidence can literally save lives. In fact, one of the most dangerous times to be on the road is right after a car accident. It's in the window of time that the chance of a secondary accident or accidents, um, those being accidents related to that sudden stop of traffic like a pileup or unexpected debris as well on the road, well those chances go up significantly. The likelihood of a secondary crash actually increases by 3% for every minute the primary incident is ongoing. Furthermore, traffic crashes and you know, struck by accidents continue to be one of the leading causes of on-duty injuries and death uh, for law enforcement, firefighters, towing and recovery personnel, not to mention to the rubberneckers checking as they go past the scene. So according to the data from Purdue University, secondary crashes go up by a factor of 24 in the moments following a crash. And this is where drones can help. By significantly speeding up data collection for accident reconstruction, drones are accelerating road clearances and thereby helping to reduce the potential for secondary crashes. But it's not just law enforcement that uses drones for accident reconstruction these days. Insurance companies have started using drones to better assess insurance claims made by individuals involved in the car accidents. Law firms and private investigators too that specialize in personal injury cases related to crashes have also started using drones in accident investigations in order to create maps for accident reconstruction purposes as well as to create a better visual for the jurors. 
So do you know of any people using drones right now for accident reconstruction? Are you a lawyer or private investigator, insurance agent? Uh, any additional tips that you would like to share? Chime in with a comment below this video. And for those looking to break into such an industry, we read in those comments too to kind of see where those footholds are so we can continue ex to expand what we can do with our Part 107 certificate. Remote Pilot 101 is the most successful Part 107 test prep course on the market with over 18,000 tests passed. It's one price and you get our updated initial and brand new recurrent course for life. It's two courses for the price of one and it's for life. See the actual test questions, learn the material, take the practice quizzes all at your own pace through our easy videos you've already grown to love. Visit RemotePilot101.com to become a member for life and learn more.